Come with us to Lightning Ridge, New South Wales, 55 minutes drive from Grawan, where we stayed at Lawn Station Caravan Park, home of John Murray Art Gallery, where the neighbours are friendly, the locals have a sense of humour, and the sights are plentiful. You can catch the moon or a sunrise. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, but brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. Morning, where are we off to today? We're off to Lightning Ridge. Why? Why? Are we going to Lightning Ridge? <laughs> We're going to make our fortune. We're going to do, <laughs> find some opals, make our fortune. Uh, pay for the rest of our trip. Don't hold your breath because we'll be there for years. <laughs> in that case. No, we won't leave the place. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have a little look around Quirky Town. Some, um, there's car door tours, there's Opalville mine tours, there's quirky stuff to see. And I believe we can fill up our gas too. Oh, we could fill up our gas. I might get a haircut. Yeah. You've got hairdressers. I've got a, a six week wait on hairdressers, so I don't know if we'll be there like that long. As you turn into the road leading to Lightning Ridge on the left, here is the Lightning Ridge sign and free camping. Not many spots available, but good for a quick overnight stay. Thought I might give you some stats on how much goes into a video we took. 510 photos and 91 videos whilst here and approximately one hour per minute goes into editing. And there Gil is taking photo number one of the 510. Well done, babe. We decided to stay at Lawn Station, which is just under nine kilometres from the town centre, but we felt it held a more bush camping feel to it. Cost of unpowered is $10 per person per night or $50 per person per week. Power was $30 per night or $150 per week. There is hot showers, toilets, kitchen, dining room and laundry facilities. Unpowered people can use all amenities and they are fine with you filling up your van with water. As you can see we're way out in the bush area and we loved it there as we got plenty of local visiting us. Okay, for today's little tip, it's been pretty windy this morning and I want to hang the washing up down. Put a clothesline up against the um, tow bar here at the caravan, uh, cross country extreme, and I've just wrapped these um, the chains around it and so far. So far so good, I don't think that's going anywhere. Um, previously we had a, a um, peg into the ground and wrapped it around the leg. But I'm starting to think if we've got the space and the sun in the right direction, that's not going to go anywhere. So anyway, just know what do you think of today's tip? And um, 
yeah, I guess we've all had the experience of putting the washing out on one of these uh, lines, as much as from Aldi. And um, next thing you get a gust of wind and the washing's on the ground in the dirt. And uh, yeah, not happy. Walking into the John Murray Art Gallery here. I did a bit of a video outside and uh, asked if we we're allowed to go video inside as well. This is amazing work around the place. I've seen it in a few different places as we're touring, so I'm going to go down this wall here. So there's no videoing inside. We can just show you quickly this inference here. Here we are at the Ridge Castle. I'm going to have a quick look around. So, what do we got for dinner tonight? Well, for me, some basmati rice there, nice and fluffy. And in here, cooked on the induction cooker that I is um, some oh, onion, garlic, heap of mushrooms. Joy doesn't like mushrooms, that's why I'm doing it outside. Um, some chicken and a bit of, uh, we had some ham left over in the fridge, so a bit of that. Um, and some, uh, a little bit of sour cream left over and some uh, fresh cream in there. So... That's dinner tonight for me. I say Joy does not like mushrooms at all, so try and get some some of this onto the plate. She just doesn't like the smell of them. So anyway, having um, a bit for myself. I think there's enough for probably two meals there. We had a big lunch today as well, so I'm having a bit of a late dinner. But I'm reckoning that that is a nice, decent sort of pile there. I'll be sitting out here and enjoying that. And um, thinking there's enough there for a, another meal. So maybe cook up a bit of pasta with just to have something different. So there we go. Mushroom, chicken. Yum. I'm feeling wild and woolly. Look how I could do a mohawk. I could be a mohawk. <laughs> your apron. Yeah. You're gay. Want your glasses oh, got, back on? No, it's alright. I don't want to see what's happening. Ready? Time track. <laughs> Have you finished? Does that look good? If you're interested in all the laughs and fun we had with our hair cutting video, check out the link above. So 
this Olympic is Light, Lightning Ridge Sporting Complex. They have an Olympic size pool here. And then outside these doors here, they've got outside pool as well. It's closed up until about November. And then they open up the outside area for people to go outside. And then this area closes, but this is massive. So diving over in the corner here is a rock climbing area. And then you've got your diving there. Lightning Ridge is filled with many mine shafts and so much space that you can explore. of you who would love to see what is underground there's a few tours giving history and carvings sorry there is no way that you would get me going down there but Gil took the plunge and he came back in one piece. Now here's a bonus tip. Tip number four. Don't book too far ahead. Now this is probably applies more to off peak and people traveling full time with no end dates. But we originally planned on staying at Lightning Ridge for a week for various reasons and it ended up staying over two weeks. We met quite a few people that were both traveling and that lived there and spent time with them. We had time relaxing, we had some time me time while Gil went off exploring. Just to wrap this up, I love Lightning Ridge and the dirt, the land, the peace and quiet, it was so relaxing. So if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. I would love to see you in next week's video. Join us next week when we hit the road and finally make it over the border to Queensland where we head to Nindagali Pub, stopping at Hebel for a look at the town and eating up a storm. Then on to Dirrambandi, free camping and eating pub meals. Then Thalum, free camping where we check out the hidden gem. Then on to the famous Nindagali Pub, free camping, road trains, camp drafts and of course their pub food. <laughs>